So frankly, this system's doing really well. Here we can see on our desktop, we get a really good overlay of the system. We can see right now at 20 past seven in the morning on an overcast day that we're getting nearly two kilowatts of solar. All of that is currently going to the house, but he's also pulling nothing from the grid. We scroll down through here, we can see still getting nearly 120 kilowatt hours out of this system on a north end to south roof. He's getting really good self-consumption here. He's using very small amount from the grid. Keep in mind that he's charging two EVs, so that can be pretty normal. He is still sending out a fair bit to the grid. That is a part of his integration with the third party control. See a lot more discharge on this site from battery. But again, a lot of that is going out to grid in a wholesale period where customers monetizing this to try and increase his ROI. 32 kilowatt hours of battery storage has proven to be pretty great here. But again, with that model that the customer is using, there's always the thought in the back of his mind, how do I add more storage here? He can add another eight kilowatt module to this. Let's have a look at the DC charger. So within the app, get an overview of what the charger is able to do. One once you plug it into your car, you can press start. It'll start to deliver energy. This customer hasn't charged a car this week. He's either not driving a lot or he's got enough charge within the cars to continue. If we come back into weekly data, we can see that over here, we've delivered 50 kilowatt hours into the car in a single charge. 